because everybody asked me about my favorite raw. Hey guys, it's Katie. It is the middle of June. It's the middle of July. And I just want to share with you some things that I have been loving this summer. I don't really like to do summer favorite videos at the beginning of summer because I don't know that I continued to use them throughout the summer. But we're like at a good solid halfway point and these are things that I have used over and over and over this summer. Beauty and swimwear and random. So let's just, I don't know if I'm going to have an order. Let's just do it. The first thing before I forget about it is paint by number sets. I did this paint by number over about two weeks. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, that is so much detail. It's way too intricate. It's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna look good. And then all of a sudden one day you're done and you are Picasso himself. So paint by numbers. This is a really large one. I've done smaller ones too. Um, but that has taken up some of my time while I rest on my chemo weeks. Um, I had a surgery earlier this year in April on my femur and that took up time then on days when it's too hot to go outside. That's something I like to do as well. Um, on the hobby side of things, I never thought I'd be this girl. I never thought I'd be this girl. A Nintendo Switch. Specifically, this summer. This winter and spring, I really liked, um, just like Mario Carnival and Mario Kart. But, what I have been playing... If I play my Nintendo, the game I play is your good old Animal Crossing. It is, I don't know why it's so good. It's just, you live on this little island and you're kind of in charge of planting flowers and trees and getting neighbors to move to the island and keeping it up and getting to five stars and you catch fish and you go deep diving and you cut down trees and you earn money and you buy things for your house and you know one of those type of games but it's really fun because according to where you live the seasons change with it and so do the type of critters on the land that you can catch or the type of fruits that you can plant or flowers that you can have so um it's cool and it's not like a taskmaster game where every day there's certain things you have to do. Just go on and do what you want and then you're done. So Animal Crossing, that's a random favorite. Let's mix in a little bit of beauty here. Um, I've said this a long time ago in a favorites video, but the color switch from Sephora where you just take your brush and wipe it in there and you can go on ahead and dip your brush into another color with no combining. I just use this so much more than I ever thought I would. And it's so much cheaper to have one or two of these than it is to have like five of your favorite brushes. So you're not constantly switching back and forth from brushes. You just have the one and if it's your favorite crease brush and you wanna use it for two different parts of your eye, you just switch it up and you're ready to go. I just, it's something I will always recommend. Always recommend. I even got my mom one because it just saves you so much in the brush department. Two lipsticks, if you've seen my recent videos, these two are not surprising. They've been my two favorite lipsticks to wear this summer so far. They're both by the Tarte Color Splash line. Can you guess what they are? Of course, the shade Daiquiri. a beautiful pink coral and then the shade cha cha a little bit more of a warm coral but not too orange so this is a daiquiri and this is cha cha i love them alone i love them together i love them with like hardly any eye makeup i love them with a bold wing that's that's that um and also in that makeup department is a this brush bath by it cosmetics i've never heard 
anyone else talk about this, but you get one of your brushes or even a beauty blender and you shake it and you just spray it on there. And then I take like um, just a cloth and wipe it off and it gets so, and it's dry. It dries instantly. It doesn't leave your brush or your beauty blender saturated but it just cleans it so instantly. Now, it's not a deep clean, but it cleans it enough that if you were too lazy and your brush is looking a little hot, a little like a hot mess, but it cleans it just enough that if you were too lazy and haven't cleaned your brushes in a while, but you're looking at your foundation brush and you're like, I don't know if I really wanna put that on my face with all of that crap on it. This is my bronzer brush, which you can see has lots of bronzer on it. I'm going to quick squirt some. I just squirted that my way. Okay. Quick put some spray on it. And then I'm going to rub it into my cloth here. And you can see, hopefully, oh, I don't know if you can, but right here, definitely right here, some of that excess gunk came off the very tip and also the tip is even brighter already with just using that brush bath so it's just a quick fix but it is something i have in my cart at ulta to get the full size of okay a random one to get out of the way a bra this is by the company wear lively and it is the most perfect loungewear bra so um it's very thin, very comfortable. It has the perfect amount of elasticity where it keeps you held in, but it's not gouging you out like a real bra would. Um, smooth material, it has this ribbing effect, but it doesn't show through your clothes. It does not have padding. And if you're worried about that because of you know your little buttons, what I find works for me is if I put this on in the morning and my buttons are out, I just kind of, I just kind of push them in. Is that weird to say? And somehow they stay flat after I do that and you've got nothing to worry about. I've got one on right now. There's nothing to see poking out. Um, they come in multi-packs and that's how I get them. And I wish they would come out with cuter colors. They just kind of have neutrals right now. But if you've ever seen this company on Instagram, because I think that's where I found them, I highly recommend trying out a set of these bras. They're so comfortable on my skin and great for everyday wear, lounge wear, um, grocery shopping wear, but you don't want to be in your pajamas. I just, I've been wanting to share these for a while. I've been sharing them with anybody who asks because <laughs> everybody asks me about my favorite raw um, another clothing item that I wanted to share is this cute swimsuit from Target so it's um, a one-piece swimsuit with this kind of checkered gingham style um, it just has a regular back full coverage in the booty which is what I want I have my niece and nephew swimming over all the time so I don't need to put my booty out but it has this these super feminine little sleeves but they don't they're not awkward they don't get in the way of like a tan it's really comfortable it's by the brand Kona Soul which is one of my favorite swim brands at Target and I am a tall person and in some of their swimsuits you can get uh, like long torso swimsuits so I appreciate that but it has just been one of my favorites this year it's a little low cut I would say like mid breast area I personally don't have a lot to show there so I can like keep it covered but it's something that I wanted to share because I use swimsuits multiple times a week because we have a pool and I just think it's a very flattering keeps you tucked in swimsuit and affordable okay another piece of clothing art oops sorry are these adidas slides i have been wearing these all summer long they are light as a cloud 
as I can imagine how light a cloud is. They don't even feel like you have anything on. They strap all the way in the back, so they just have, you know, this Velcro that you slide your foot in, Velcro it on, you're good to go. But they just look so good when you're going, I don't know, uptown to get ice cream or chilling at the lake or by your friend's pond. Um, I've been wearing those, these a lot to my nephew's baseball tournaments and things like that. And they keep your feet cool. And yes, I really like these. I got these last summer, um, but towards the end of summer. So I've been killing them this summer. And you might think they're white, they're gonna get dirty. They come off so easily. I've cleaned these many times and all the dirt comes off the white part, comes off the black part. Adidas slides. I don't have the exact name, but I'll try to look it up. Okay, moving on to a couple more beauty items. This is the ColourPop highlighter in Flexitarian. However, my favorite part about it is not the highlighter part. My favorite part about it has been using it as a one and done eyeshadow. So I'll put it right here. You can see, you can get it to be incredibly blinding as a highlight, which is why I sometimes steer away from it. But what I've been doing, maybe I'll show you a picture, is just putting this all over my lid and then choosing one of my favorite summer lips, which I have shared with you in a previous video, I think over here, um, and maybe doing a winged eyeliner, maybe not. But I've just been loving this champagne glowy metallic color for the summer but then pairing it with any kind of bold lip you like. Um, one time I wore it that way and I've gotten the most compliments on this look than like anything else. Here's a close up. Um, so all I have on my eyes is the Flexitarian highlight and the a Schwing by the Balm eyeliner and then I think I have a combination of daiquiri and cha-cha on my lips. So I've been loving that as an eyeshadow, a new bronzer that has been magic. If you saw my Sephora haul, um, you'll know it's the Tower 28 Bronzino Bronzer in West Coast. This, it's weird even swatching it because the swatch is not at all like it appears on your skin. On your skin, it looks like very orange and metallic-y and almost reflective. But when you put it on your face for bronzer, <laughs> you almost look like you have an edited glow to you. It, I, I just, when I put it on, I am constantly like, how does this go from this to what's on my face? I don't have it on today, but whoa. I I was late to the game in checking these out because I always saw the swatches and I was like, those look like orange and shiny. The, I don't know guys, there's like sorcery to it. A concealer I've been loving because I have been loving um, covering up my dark circles from chemo, but I also um, like to brighten my eyes a little bit. And that is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Concealer. I have finicky under eyes. They dry up. Nothing looks good on top of them unless it's incredibly emollient and hydrating. And this one has been doing the ticket for me. Um, it's hard for me to set my under eyes because they get so dry. This one I can set my under eyes and it doesn't look flaky under there. So if you're looking for a very hydrating under eye concealer, the L'Oreal Age Perfect one is my non-stop go-to right now. Um, another eye product, an eyeliner. I got this tip from Kelly Gooch here on YouTube. She has brown eyes and she started wearing kind of like a grungy gold eyeliner in her bottom waterline because sometimes if we have smaller eyes and we put black in the waterline it just makes our eyes even smaller but sometimes we still want some definition there so i bought this one from nyx their epic wear liner stick in the shade gilded gilded taupe i thought it was gilded gold and it's right there 
And that's what I have been putting in my bottom water line. And I would have never, ever done that before if I hadn't heard it from Kelly Gooch because gold is not a color I would have picked up for an eyeliner. But the like grunginess of this one especially, um, that it's not like a yellow gold, it's more like a bronze gold, pulls out those gold and brown undertones in your eyes and make them look just really beautiful. So that's a favorite. Oh my goodness, where else am I going? Too many things. I love, oh my gosh, my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in the shade Mango Mood. Influenced by Emily Noel. That I even bought two more shades. One of them I have on in the shade Bittersweet. But, oh, it's this. You'll see why I like it compared to that I've just showed you. Again, Mango Mood right here. Look at it compared to these two colors that I've been loving. I just love this pinky coral thing that's happening right now in the lip world. And this formula is a very comfortable, like lightweight gloss, but it stays on your lips and wears really well, meaning it doesn't get patchy, it's not sticky. It does wear off the center of my lips, but everything does. But yes, Coral Pinky Lips Mango Mood by Bobbi Brown. Um, body care so because we have a pool and I have sunscreen on like all over my body multiple days a week I really need something to help get that sunscreen off so I've been using these body scrubs by tree hut and you know they're nothing new people talk about them I've been using the frosted sugar cookie scent and I really like these as the most gentle effective exfoliator affordable they're like around eight or nine dollars so many cents but I just feel like it gets all that sunscreen and gunk of the day off from being outside at the pool or the lake or the ocean but it's not abrasive and they all smell good so that's what I'm going to go with another thing that happens in the shower your own private concerts this is a shower speaker I got it off of Amazon but don't tell Jeff Bezos and all it is is you hook up your phone via Bluetooth and you have your own concert. I mean, pretty much, but it's like legit now. Now I know you can have, you can use whatever Bluetooth speaker. Maybe you have like an Echo or a Google Home in your bathroom and that's how you use it. But having this right there in the shower and knowing that it can get wet and doesn't bother it, I really like this just hanging my shower 24 seven, except for when I have to charge it, but I'm a fan. And it's way not as expensive as some other Bluetooth speaker systems. The Milani Prep Set and Glow like finishing powder. This has become my new favorite for this summer because it is such a soft powder that somehow sets your makeup but lets all this luminosity shine through. And that's exactly what I want because I try so hard getting luminosity with my primer and my foundation, but I do want to powder my skin down in the sweaty heat or if I want it to last all day. And this is perfect for keeping that, that glow and luminosity to it. And it's affordable, it's Milani. So it's getting harder to find though. So, you know, if you want to check it out, might have to do that soon. Favorite, 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 I'm almost done. My favorite, 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 favorite lip balm of all time to actually nourish, heal, hydrate my lips is by Paula's Choice. It's their lip and body balm. It's about $15, but you get so much product. Um, half an ounce. It's a very um, thick, not thick, it's a very solid balm that you do have to emulsify a little bit, but I keep this exclusively by my bed stand, and it is the last thing I put on before I lay down for the night. That way I know my hands are cleansed thoroughly before I go in and touch something and then touch my lips, because this is not a type of lip balm product I will ever be keeping in my purse from here on out, because who ever thought that keeping potted balms in our purses to put on out in public was 
a good idea. But anyway, definitely something I'll repurchase. If I have cracked lips, if I have you know, cracked nose because of allergies and blowing my nose all the time and tissues, this heals it up in overnight. It's so good. I think that's all I have to share with you today. This is a long video, but I had so many summer things to share and they're all my tried and true favorites so far. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.